You know, just like starting off the day with a nice cup of coffee, our first open for business segment of the new year is also beginning with coffee. This week, Iowa News reporter Victoria Whittle takes us to Whitehorse Coffee and Creamery in Jenkintown, where roasting the perfect cup of joe is just part of their mission. And Tori tells us, joins us now to tell us more about it. We love our coffee tour. Mm, hey. Woo! When you said the first open for business of the new year, How and then it? just like starting the day with that first cup of coffee, my reaction was like, pew, 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 pew. Are you ready to giddy up? <laughs> Let's go. Are you ready to get going? Let's go. Oh, that's right. This open for business is super awesome, not only because they have incredible coffee, but because they have an incredible message behind not only their coffee, but their entire business, which includes a roastery, a creamery, and a sustainability shop. It's a good one. Check it out. You feel like you're flying. You know, like when you're on a horse and you're riding, it's just the most freeing. It's just a great feeling. For many, getting their day off to a great start starts with a piping hot cup of coffee. And here in Jenkintown on West Avenue, you can get your day off and running at White Horse Coffee and Creamery. It's so it's a good. good cup of coffee. I was looking for a taste that would be like a picture of that coffee would be next to the word coffee in the dictionary. Owned by former horse trainer, current horse show judge, mother and wife Jean Brillman, her love of horses is pictured everywhere in the cafe. And then that was my first pony, my white, my white horse. That was my white pony, Peppermint Patty. So I got her for my 11th birthday from my grandfather. But her small batch coffee shop and retail slash production space across the street focuses on a much bigger picture, one that not only affects coffee drinkers and horse lovers, but everyone. The roasting process is a very, it's not a very sustainable process if you're using a big gas drum roaster. So I was interested in figuring out how we could do it sustainably. This was the alternative, it's all electric. So normally there would be some type of a vent and then it would, all those VOCs and the emissions would go out the vent and then they're just going out to the atmosphere. But this um, filters it down so clean air is coming out. Us roasting our own coffee was one of the best things we ever did because the quality went up. You know, people are like, oh, it's so cool that you roast and that it's sustainable. So with that happening, you know, once we could open our seating up back again, we sort of ran out of room for production. So we're like, okay, what do we do now? I had seen different zero waste stores and with this whole sustainable thing, refill stations, and I was like, okay, this is what we're gonna offer because I think Jenkintown would love it. I feel like all of it is such a win. And I feel like it's such a win for the community, but the intention of it is really a win for a cleaner, better world. And how cool that it all started with horses and you and coffee beans. I loved horses always, but and they were my passion. But then it was like, what's my purpose? Being sustainable and supporting sustainable initiatives is like, okay, this is this makes sense for me. This makes me feel good about what I'm doing every day. What's not to love about this story? And I thought it was so fitting because now that we're in 2022, a lot of people set resolutions for themselves or they start to ask themselves some deep questions like, what is my purpose? What are my passions? So maybe it's time to head to White Horse and get yourself a piping hot cup of coffee. Mm. Think about how you want to change the world. Think about your purpose. Think about your passions. <laughs> and then giddy on up into 2022 on that White Horse. Oh, you're starting the, starting the year off deep, young lady. It's getting nice. I, <laughs> I was like that. Say, that may <laughs> require a double espresso at least or quad. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, maybe a quad shot might do. Yes. <laughs> Good stuff. Tori, thanks so much.